the, the seed on the rocks. Now, there's a couple things going on with this one. Seed, it requires water or moisture here, Jesus says, to, to grow and to mature. And the way that God has designed for you and I to grow up and to mature as human beings is, is through relationships with other people. It's through relationships with other people. I want to say this. You will, you will not grow spiritually or mature as a Christian apart from Christian community, apart from being in relationship with other people. That's why we push community groups so hard here. We're like, hey, don't just come on Sunday, but get involved in one of the midweek community groups because you can, you can just come regularly on Sunday and attend and actually never get connected really to anyone relationally where we have, we have real conversations. And, and here's the truth. If you don't get connected into relationships, you, you're not going to stick around. You just don't stick around. Not here at the church and, and, and usually maybe even with God. You're not going to stick around with him with him unless you get in relationships. What happens is sooner or later is that in life we hit trials. What Jesus calls here testing. He says the time of testing comes. That's when difficult things happen in life. We live in this broken and fallen world where, where bad things happen. Uh, you know, we eventually, all of our bodies break down. Uh, when you hit tragedy or when something bad or difficult happens, you will not make it through it spiritually alone. You just, you won't be able to make it spiritually alone. God has designed his people to be a support system and a community to bear one another's burdens, to stand through, to comfort one another and to help each other in our time of need. So that's the first thing going on with this one. Now there's a second thing in this line where Jesus says they, they receive it with, with joy. They receive it with joy. That's at first. And, and, but then it gets, you know, it doesn't grow mature. Now, what I, what I say here, what's going on here, this is the, what I call the jump in fast, jump out fast scenario. Jump in fast, jump fast out. Uh, anytime someone comes along, you know, like they visit our church and it's like the first or second Sunday, they've come and like, oh my, Pastor Dwayne, that was the best sermon I've ever heard in my life. This church is the greatest church I've ever been to. And they just think, oh man, like this is so wonderful. And, and and right away, I'm like, oh, no. Red flag. Ding, 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 ding. Like, it's only going to be a matter of weeks or months or in, until I'm the worst pastor they've ever met and our church is like the worst church they've ever been to. <laughs> uh, it's the jump in, fast, jump, fast out scenario. It's one of the many reasons that we do this eight-week membership class called Theology 101. It, it's so that we can kind of like date a bit before we get married, you know, like feel each other out, make sure this is a good fit. We don't want you to jump real fast into our church because we don't want you to jump fast out. Uh, following Jesus and becoming part of one of his churches is a really, really big deal. It ought to be taken seriously. It's a big decision. Now, we want you to join in. We love being church together. We, we need each other, and it's a special family. That's why we take it so seriously. But on top of it, the kind of, the kind of relationships that are going to help in times of trouble, um, those, those kind of relationships, they just take time to form. They take time to form. 